Hello and welcome to the Faculty of Arts and Sciences Graduate Orientation. Please take note of any questions you may have and we will address them in our Q&A slot at the end of our live graduate orientation session. Let's start by introducing the FAS Student Services Office, which is the link between students, faculty, advisors, and other university offices. Our main function is to support you during your time here at FAS. The Student Services Office is led by Ms. Zena Halabiye, the Director of Student Services. For graduate student services, you can contact me, Rida Aitani. I'm here to help you with the administration of all Masters and PhD programs at FAS. FAS also offers career services to help you in planning your career and job search process from early on. You can schedule an appointment with me for individual meetings to discuss CV and cover letter writing, interview tips, creating your elevator pitch, and so on. Our office is located in Lee Observatory, next to Nicely, and we look forward to talking to you during the semester. The graduate catalog will be your guide during your entire residency at EUB. The catalog contains all of the academic policies that affect your studies. You can find the catalog online on the registrar's website, which is also mentioned here. There is a section that contains the general university policies and the section for FAS where you can find policies specific to FAS as well as degree requirements and the listing of courses. The courses listed in the catalog are not available every semester. For an updated list of course offerings, you can check the Browse Classes section on AUBSIS. It's really important to read carefully through the catalog and ask questions. We are here to help you. The role of your academic advisor. You have each been assigned an academic advisor. Your advisor should be your first point of contact on all academic matters. The Student Services Office does not give academic advice. If you contact us about academic issues, the first question we will ask is if you have spoken with your advisor. We also copy your advisor on all emails to make sure that they are kept in the loop. Always put your ID number in all your emails and copy your advisor on all correspondence. Your advisor will assist you with developing your academic plans, including selecting appropriate courses each semester. Your advisor will provide you with your registration PIN for the first two semesters that you register. Your advisor will also be familiar with all the requirements of your program and will be able to assist you with any issues that might affect your academic performance and will also be able to help with administrative issues such as submitting petitions to add or delete courses after registration. Advisors will be able to refer you to other university services such as the Counseling Center, Writing Center or the Accessibilities Office. They can also assess your academic standing and confirm your degree requirements before graduating. You can trust that your advisor will maintain your confidentiality. Concerning student petitions, we have an automated system for submitting petitions called OPFS. The OPFS can be accessed from the FAS website under Student Resources, or you can go to the website listed here, petitions.aub.edu.lb. You log in using your AUB username and password. Keep note of this. As you can see on the red arrow, there's a place called inactive. If at any time you become inactive because you didn't register for one semester, you will need to complete a reactivation petition, which is found on the right side of the login screen. For technical issues, you should contact the IT help desk for assistance. Now, why are these petitions used? They're used to make specific requests to the faculty. The most common types of petitions are the following. Correction of Record Petition, 
This petition is used to add or delete courses after registration and drop an ad period have closed. Incomplete petition. This is used if you need to request an incomplete for a course. Thesis or project proposal petition is used to submit your proposal and to indicate the members of your thesis committee or project committee. A leave of absence is used in case that you need to take a semester away from your studies. You should petition at least one month before the start of the semester, unless you have any unforeseen circumstances. If your request is approved, the semester away will not count toward your maximum residency. Residency extension petition. This petition is used in case that you reach the maximum residency and are still not ready to graduate, so you can request up to two additional semesters at a time. Reactivation petition. This is used in case that you do not register for a semester and your record becomes inactive. A general petition for transferring credits, requesting deadline extensions, or for any other matters that do not fit into one of the other categories. Once you submit a petition, it is first reviewed by your academic advisor, then the department chair, then the graduate officer, the graduate committee, and finally the dean who will make a final decision on your petition. For the residency period, master's students have eight regular semesters, meaning fall, spring, to complete their degree, and PhD students have 10 semesters. If you think you will need additional time to complete your degree requirements, there is no need to worry. You can petition for a residency extension and ask for an additional semester or two. If you have an approved leave of absence, the period that you are away will not count toward your maximum residency. You are allowed to petition for two semesters of leave at a time and for a total of four semesters during your residency. Please be careful about the following. If you take one full academic year without a leave of absence, you are considered to have withdrawn from the program and will need to apply for readmission to the program through the Office of Admissions. For course registration this year, please check the dates mentioned here. Your academic advisor will provide you with a registration pin for the first and second semester you register. You can make changes to your schedule during the drop and add period at the beginning of the semester. If you need to make any changes to your registration after the drop and add period, you will need to submit a correction of record petition on the online petition system. The graduate committee will approve late changes for a week or a maximum of 10 days after drop and add. Students who are placed in English 300, you must be done with the course within the first two semesters or you will have a hold on your record and will not be able to register any courses until you complete the English requirement. Concerning your comprehensive exam and thesis, you must make sure to register for and complete your comprehensive exam before proceeding with your thesis defense. Once you are ready to register your thesis, you should maintain continuous thesis registration, meaning you register for the thesis course and register consecutively for each semester until you defend your thesis. For the Graduate Assistantship and Fellowship Program, Graduate Assistantships are awarded for two years based on the department's recommendation. Prospective students are not eligible for a GA until they become regular graduate students, and students on probation are not allowed to receive a GA until they are in good academic standing. The GA typically covers 100% of your tuition for a total of two to three courses per semester as per the requirements of the program, unless your admission letter states otherwise. Please confirm with your department if you are unsure of how many credits are covered. Everyone who receives a GA has a responsibility to work a minimum of 8 hours of GA duties in exchange for the tuition coverage. In case that you are asked by the department to work beyond 8 hours, you will be paid for the additional hours. The maximum that you are allowed to work is 20 hours per week. The GA duties are assigned by your department. It might be teaching, administrative, or research work. You have to remain in good academic standing to continue on GA, so your cumulative GPA should remain above 3.2. P 
Please remember, we are here to help. You can always contact us. You can contact Ms. Zaina Halabiye, Director of Student Services. You can contact me, Rida Aitani, for any graduate studies inquiry. You can contact Ms. Abir Khouri for any questions related to your GA, contract, or any financial issues. We will use your AUV email address to contact you, so please make sure to set up your account as soon as possible if you have not done so already. Thank you and welcome to FAS.